Sup, y'all? So what do you guys think about a fight between Gervonta Tank Davis and Mr. Gary Russell Jr.? As we all know, not long ago, Tank Gervonta Davis just knocked out, knocked out cold Leo Santa Cruz over in San Antonio, Texas. Showtime pay-per-view. And right after the fight, Mr. Gary Russell Jr. went on social media and he posted up this video. This video right here. Let's let's listen to it. let's listen to it for a sec. Tank Shorty. I want you so motherfucking bad. That shit had me licking my motherfucking chops last night, Slim. Leo was definitely in your ass. You was knotting all up. You was getting knotted up. You pulled that out your ass for real, for real. You pulled that out your ass, my nigga. I want you. I'm I, I want you so bad, Shorty. I, I will beat the brakes off your little ass. Man, when y'all want to see some real fights, because that wasn't no real fight. Leo did Leo did, did the best that he could possibly do. You know what I'm saying? Tank threw a lucky shot and caught him. He was throwing the same shot all motherfucking night, and Leo just don't have the defensive discipline to be able to, to stop that shit, man. Alrighty. Um, <laughs> so basically, I mean, you guys saw it. Uh, and he's saying, I want you... Uh, he he, call, he said that it's a lucky shot, you know, dissing Gervonta Davis. Um, you know, he's calling out Gervonta. He's calling out Gervonta. And a fight between Gary and Gervonta is definitely a fight I, I would love to see. Uh, me living in a DMV, both fighters live in my area. Gary Russell Jr., if you guys don't know, he's, he lives in Maryland. He was born in D.C. and he lives in Capitol Heights, Maryland, which is basically by D.C. Um... You know, he lives in the DMV area, the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area. And uh, I live in the same area as well. And Gary Russell is um, someone I'm a fan of. And I've just been highly disappointed of him this past few years. Because if you guys look at his resume, man, once a year for the past five freaking years, he's only fought once a year. Longest reigning WBC featherweight champion in the world because he's only been fighting once a freaking year. Oh, man. Yeah, and I was there to the Tico Martinez fight. I think I was there in the Joseph Diaz fight. Um, oh, my. I, I'm a fan of Gary, but it's just fighting once a year is just very disappointing, man. Gervonta lives in Maryland as well. From Baltimore, Maryland. So this is basically DC versus Baltimore, man. Put it here in Maryland. I'm sure this will sell out over here. Whether it's in Baltimore or in DC. Put it in DC or somewhere. Like the MGM National Harbor. Why not? You know, I, I honestly think this is a big fight. That they can get it done. If it's, it takes place here in the area here. I'm sure a lot of people from Baltimore and from DC will go watch it live in person. So it's a good fight. It's a good fight. And for Gary to call it a lucky shot. You know, Gary's just trying to call him out. I think Gary knows that Gervonta that set up that punch. He set up the punch with the intention to knock out Leo Santa Cruz. It, it it wasn't lucky. At least that's the way I see it. You know, the way I the way it looks like Gary Russell's just trying to look for a big paycheck fight. That's the way it looks like. And I don't know what his um, situation is right now with his promotional stuff. I'm not sure if it's still without him or what. But if uh, he is without him. Then they, they can get this fight done. Both fighters are under Al Heyman. Basically. So they, they can get it done. They can get it done. Definitely. And. Um, you know. I, I just hope we get to see it. I hope we get to see it. Once a fucking year fighting. Gary Russell. Come on man. Stay active. I mean. He, he gets a pass this year. Because of COVID. But hopefully in 2021. He fights twice. Hopefully. <laughs> Please, Gary, please. He's an, he's an exciting fighter, very talented fighter, and it just sucks that he's wasting his talent away in his prime years. Anyway, I guess he's satisfied with what he's getting paid. You know, can't blame him, I guess. It's a dangerous sport. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't yet. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Please, and like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.